you for joining us for this new Sunday service. Mm -hmm. And as you join, please like, comment, and share. And turn on notifications so you'll be notified every time that you go live or post a new video. Now, we'll, we'll open up the service off with a prayer. <clears throat> for every divine soul of Christ member and all who are joining in on this service, God will give you the new of heaven. Amen. And of the fat of the land. Amen. You shall not lack good things, but you shall swim in plenty. Amen. And God shall favor you. Amen. He will grant you and your and yours the grace to walk according to the divine instructions Amen. and live your life to fulfill divine purpose. Amen. Your life will carry a new grace that will silence every disgrace of the past. Hallelujah, Amen. somebody. And the Amen. Lord will take you to a new era of joy and happiness. Amen. Amen. This week, God shall visit you yes, sir. And fresh and in a fresh in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Amen. 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 Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Amen. And now it's time for the offering. Amen. Offering time. Blessing time. Blessing time. Blessing time. Offering time. Blessing time. Blessing time. in our life but unto your blood and unto your righteousness because we know only you are God Amen. and when God upon you we stand on top on the rock of ages you are our rock of ages you are our king we bless your holy name in Jesus mighty name we pray Amen, Amen. Amen. 
Amen. The word of God, my brothers and sisters, we come today from the pericope, Second Corinthians chapter 12, verse 7, and it reads justly, to keep me from becoming conceited because of these suppressing great revelations. There was giving me a thorn in my flesh, a messenger of Satan to torment me. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. What a preaching word today. Amen. Amen. I Amen. love the word of God because Amen. it's sweeter than honeycomb to me. And my title today, brothers and sisters, your pain is meaningful to God. Amen. 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 That your struggle is meaningful to God. Amen. Amen. That's your temptation, that things that make you shed tears, those family that is not working well, your children that act like fools, the husband that left home, the mother that is not modeling well, the wife that is, doesn't know his job, oh, that, that job, he did. everything that pain, God is meaningful to him. Amen. Amen. Yeah, in your life, there are values of crushing disappointment, mountains of pride, uneven ground, and raw places of wrong thinking. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Yeah. When we go through, what do we think? We start saying, first come, they, they come to our mind, God, but why me? Why am I going this, God? Why me? What did I do to deserve this? I don't know. What is sound familiar to you, but it's sound familiar to me. Amen. But when I go through, that's the first thing that comes to my mind. What have I done, God, to deserve this? Amen. I want to let me tell you a short story. On this Saturday, God, I went to I went to work because they called me in. And I tell you, I went through so much on that Saturday. Yeah. Body driving, going to work, driving, coming back, and they're at work. And I start asking God. I don't know. I'm not the type that has God. Why? But with question I ask God, why do you allow this to happen? What are you teaching me? Amen. What am I, what what is it that uh, you want to teach me in this predicament? What are you teaching me in this situation? I keep asking God, and even till now, I I I, I tried to learn some so many things that He taught me, but I still it was too deep a pain for just those simple things to learn. And I'm still asking Him today. I'm not going to go the positive the negative way. Why? But I went to the positive way, saying, "But God, what are you teaching me?" Amen. So, my yeah. brothers and sisters, yeah. as I'm saying in your life, my brothers and sisters, child of God, brethren, in your life. There are valleys, they have crushing valleys, disappointment, there are mountains of pride and evil ground, and rough places of wrong thinking. There are plain things that bring you out of God's side and take you out of faith and turn you to a faithless person. There are things that take you out of hope and send you to hopelessness. There are things that take you out of faith and take you to faithlessness. Or there are things that take you out of faithfulness to faithless. But today I come to tell you. Because you belong to God, your pain, your pain is not meaningless. Amen. Amen. Oh, well Amen. Can I tell you? Because you belong to God. Let me say something to you, to you today. If you're not going through, if Satan is not messing with you, if Satan is not constantly knocking at your door, then you're doing something wrong. Amen. 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 But when when you go through, every time you turn around, you can't drink water and keep cold. Something is going wrong. Satan is fighting you. Baby, you doing something right. Amen. Don't give up hope. Because, because you belong to God. Therefore, your pain is not meaningless or random. It is purposeful. It is purposeful. It is why you are living. It is why you are born. It is why you are still alive today. God own good purpose for all of us. For you, for you, my brothers and sisters. God may not reveal that purpose to you today. God may not reveal it, but that does not mean he does not have one. Hallelujah, somebody. Hallelujah. Abraham, when God told Abraham, he said, go, I will make you the father of nation. What did the brother do? Brother was young when God spoke. But when did he give him just a son? That son that made him a nation. He was almost dying. 99 years. Plus. His wife was 99 years plus. Abraham was old. But I come to tell you. He did not reveal that to him. Every time God have a purpose for you. He does not reveal it to us. You know why? Because he said. Can you worship me? Amen. Not of sight. But can you worship me in faith? You cannot please God. What did I say? You cannot please God in, in, uh, in sight. In your eyes. Your, your natural eyes. But you can only please God by faith. Amen. God might not be revealed us. 
purpose, God may not reveal that purpose to you, but that does not mean he does not have one. Mm -hmm. So often you want to nail down a singular source for your suffering and your pain, and you wonder, was it you, God? Who, who did this to me? Who, did I bring this on myself? Yes, this is a normal question for a living person to ask. Hallelujah. When you're asking those Hallelujah. questions, something is going to grab you and say something. Because you can't keep quiet. Or oh, is there some evil forces at work in my life? But I want to tell why I come today to tell you good news. Hallelujah, somebody. Hallelujah. I want you to remember that what Satan sent to destroy your faith can at the same time help you to develop your faith. Hallelujah, somebody. Hallelujah. Say, rewind, dog. I say it again. I say in the midst of, is it me? Why me? Why Satan is doing this? Is it me that brought this temptation? This? Why you are doing all the why, 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 why? I come to tell you, delete that why. And remember that Satan sent destroy. What Satan sent to destroy your faith can be at the same time help you develop your faith. What well, Satan deflects in an attempt to make you turn away from God in resentment uh, will turn around will make you uh, God intend to use to strengthen you as you turn towards God Amen. in dependence. Amen. When you depend on God so only in the midst of that years, in the midst of that struggle, in the midst of that pain, I tell you, he will take care of that. The essence of faith, my brothers and sister, is being confident in what you can see, cannot see, like Hebrew 11 said, show off what you can see and setting off what you hope for. Amen. So the essence of faith is being confident in what you cannot see. You might not be able to see how or when God is using your suffering, your pain, your sickness, your poverty, your problem, your valleys, and your mountains, Amen. and your temptation. You might not know how God is going to use those things for your good. And that's why the word of God say, God will do what well, God will do all, all good to, uh, for those who love the Lord. Amen. God will do good to them. Amen. For those who obey the word of God, God will surely do good. He will surely come to you. But you can still be confident that he will do Amen. what we do. Amen. Will he do it? Hello. Will he do it? Will he do it? Amen. He has done it before, he will do it again. Amen. If God has done it before, he will do it again. Will he, will he, will he do it? Amen. My brothers and sisters, he will do it. All you need is faith. Because his faith without work is dead. Faith without doing is dead. Amen. Faith without action is dead. So that's why the Bible says, you cannot please God without faith. Let me pray with you today, dear Father. God, help us to give you open access to, to our mind as we meditate on your word today and to our heart as we nurture the new affection of you in our life. Mm -hmm. For we know we don't have to be perfect for you to bless us because Christ was perfect on behalf of us. Amen, Amen. somebody. Amen. But help us, oh dear Lord, to clear away obstacles and open, my, open ourselves up to God. Please help us, God, to focus on welcoming your work and use the suffering, the pain of our life, the temptation of our life, the struggle of our life. Let us use it all to your glory amen. in Jesus Christ our suffering father's name amen, amen. amen. My brothers and sisters, oh you come and say joy you are always excited when it comes to God everywhere I see you baby I want to tell you to receive my Jesus as your Lord and Savior and you will be double excited than me super excited than me receive Jesus as your Lord and Savior and if you do Pray this short prayer with me. Dear Lord Jesus Christ, thank you for dying on the cross of Calvary for my sins. Please forgive me. Come into my life. I receive you as my Lord and Savior. Now help me to live for you the rest of this life. In the name of Jesus, my brothers Amen. and sisters, after you pray that prayer, Hallelujah. I'm so happy for you. Go and find a Bible church Hallelujah. where they preach the authentic word of God and just mingle with them and go with them, commit with them. But if you don't, don't go too far. 
join the Vassalers of Christ. <laughs> we preach the word of God from the word with our tenth talk, with our preaching Bible study, with our Sunday service, we preach the word of God. Because the word of God is why we stand. That is why the word of God is a lamp unto our feet and a light unto our path. But if not, join us and you are welcome in the name of Jesus. Message us on our Facebook Messenger and we will go on this journey of Christendom, this pregnant journey with you. Amen. Amen. And you say there, Joy, you don't understand I'm going through. We all go through. So let's pray a special prayer for you and for all of us in this prayer. Father, in the name of Jesus, your word has said, your, our suffering and pain is meaningful to you. Amen. You know my pain. You know my tears at night. You know the tears of that child of God that is listening, non-believers and believers and people that are listening to me right now. You know their pain and their sorrow and their suffering. The pain that they cannot even talk to somebody about. Let it be meaningful from today and showcase yourself. Joseph mighty, Joseph real, Joseph mighty, Joseph real, and gain all the glory and ask our prayer by fire by thunder in Jesus' name. Amen. 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 Pray, so shall it be in your life, and so shall it be in my life. So I'm going to too in Amen. Jesus' name. Amen. The Lord will bless you and your family. The Lord will keep you. The Lord make his face shine upon you, my brothers and sisters, and make and be gracious to you. The Lord turn his face towards you and give you peace. Oh, now to him who is able to do exceedingly, abundantly, above all things that you can think or, or do or ask or think according to the power that, the power that, the power that works in us. Yeah. To him be the glory in divine soldiers of Christ, church by Christ Jesus, to all members and forever and ever. Amen. Amen. I want to remember my title to you again. Remember my title, my brothers and sisters, is very, very important. You remember my title. Be, 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 the, your pain and your suffering, everything you're going through today, I don't know what it is. It's meaningful to God. Amen. Amen. Remember that when you're about to complain, remember that. And now, my brothers and sisters, um, our benediction. We are heirs of the Father. We are joining with the Son. We are children of the King. We are family. We are family. We are family. Give us the sub Christ. We are family. Your word, your word, your word will continue to protect us in Jesus' name. I'll finish as I love you, I love you. But God loves you more. Virtue hug and virtue hug, virtue shaking in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen.